Welcome to the Power BI tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the flexibility of Power BI to handle role-playing dimensions with ease. Let's first understand what role-playing dimension is. Here, you can see that we have the city ID as the primary key in one table. The city ID is used as the foreign key in another table for origin city as well as destination city columns. When you use one table to define multiple dimensions, it's called as a role-playing dimension. When you try to map one column of a table with multiple entities of another table, Power BI doesn't allow you to define this relationship. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to handle such scenarios by creating a role-playing dimension. Let us try to create a report that shows the total number of flights from a source city to various destinations across years. In the process, we will see how easy and flexible Power BI is in defining such complex relations and create interactive reports with only few clicks. Launch Power BI from Desktop Click on Get Data from the Splash page Let's select SQL Server Database as the source system. We need to enter the server name and click on OK. In the navigation window, let's select Airlines DB. From the list of tables, let's select the tables we require to create the report. Once you're done, click on Load and Power BI would load the data into the workspace. Now that we have the city and passenger tables, let's define the role-playing dimensions. First, we need to create two copies of the city table. From the modeling tab, click the new table icon. The tables that I'm going to create are LU underscore origin underscore city and LU underscore destination underscore city. Type this formula in the formula bar. As you type, the IntelliSense will provide guidance with the autocomplete feature. Click on this icon to save the formula. Let's repeat the same steps to create the second table as well. Now that we have created the necessary tables, Let's hide the ones that came from the data source but that are not required for the scope of this report. If needed, we can also hide a few columns of an existing table instead of the whole table. I'll also rename this table as Destination City. Now let's repeat the same process for the LU underscore origin city table as well. We'll also rename the columns of this table from city description to origin city. Now let's create relationship between these tables. From the same modeling tab, click on the manage relationships tab. In the manage relationships window, Click on New. From the Create Relationship window, select LU Destination Table in the first drop-down. And then select Passenger Tickets Table in the second drop-down. Click the City ID column in the LU Destination Table that will select the whole column. And now we need to specify how it is related to the Passenger Tickets Table. So let's click on the Destination City ID column from the passenger tickets table and click on OK. Now these tables are mapped. Let's do the same process once again, this time for LU Origin City table. Click on New. This time select LU Origin City table from the first drop down and passenger ticket from the second. Click the City ID column from the LU Origin City table and Origin City ID from the Passenger Tickets table. Click on OK to create the relationship. 
Now that we have created the necessary background, let's build the report. Our report is going to be cross-tapped. It has origin city on the rows and destination city on the columns. So the appropriate visualization to use here would be matrix visualization. Make sure that you drag the origin city column from the origin city table. Please be sure not to drag this column from the passenger tickets table. Make sure you drag the destination city column from the LU destination city table and drop it onto the columns. Drag and drop the flight ID to values and change the aggregation function to distinct count. Let me apply some conditional formatting on the view now. Let's specify the color codes for the minimum and maximum values and click on OK to apply the formatting. Let me also change the matrix style by navigating to the format menu. So this is how we create role-playing dimensions using Power BI to satisfy our reporting requirements. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time.